Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use and deploy a very handy but it seems not too well known functionality inside of OBIEE. I'm going to be using the sample app 406 version today to demonstrate this and what we're going to do is explore the deployment of the metadata dictionary. Now the sample application comes with this functionality already deployed, but we're going to go ahead and walk through the steps to deploy the metadata dictionary as if uh, you're doing it uh, fresh on a new environment. So the way that you access the metadata dictionary is if you are in answers on the criteria tab, you can click on a logical folder and you'll see this little icon for open metadata dictionary lights up. If we click on this, we can see that it drills us to the presentation layer inside of the repository. And then from this spot, we can continue to drill down through the three layers of the repository file so that we can traverse all of the fields and attributes that are available to us at every layer of the RPD. So for instance, I can drill down to my logical table sources and from there I can also drill to the physical data sources by continuing to just drill down through the objects. So this is a very handy functionality that uh, can help a great deal with report development and allowing people responsible for developing reports to be able to find uh, fields and measures and um, you know these attributes that might be useful to them whether or not they're displayed in the presentation layer. Permission to the metadata dictionary is driven the same way that uh, all of your other sort of catalog privileges are driven and if we come into the manage privileges section of the admin tab you'll see that there is this access to metadata dictionary uh, permission and then of course uh, you would grant or uh, remove access to this the typical way you would to other functionality inside of BI. So let's take a look at how this is actually deployed. So first, the first thing that we're going to do is just take a look at the admin tool and you can see that there is a tool for actually generating the metadata dictionary and it's under the tools utilities and then generate metadata dictionary each time that you upload a new repository to the uh, BI server it'll be necessary to regenerate this metadata dictionary and uh, and redeploy it but it's a pretty simple process after you get through the initial setup so let's dig into the initial setup here I have web logic console up and I'm under deployments and we can take a look here to see how this app uh, metadata dictionary is actually deployed so uh, I've worked through this example and, and we're going to work through it again today, but right now we are deploying the metadata dictionary from this new metadata dict uh, web application that we have here. And if we drill down into this, we can just basically see that, okay, we're, we're deploying this from a directory which uh, is on the BI server. It has a name and, uh, and that's ultimately how the WebLogic server knows how to deploy it. So what we're going to do right now is create a, a brand new instance of this uh, on the server so that we can deploy this as if it had never been done before. So I'm going to pull up my MOBAX term and we're going to start off just like we're on a, a fresh instance of the server. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is navigate down to where you're going to deploy this. So in sample app, the directories used to deploy this metadata dictionary 
are in this instances folder and you can see the path that I've put into MOBA Xterm here. So if we take a look here you can see that I have this metadata dict which was the original deployment of this that came with sample apt. We can see that we have this new version of it which was the deployment that I just showed you and now we are actually going to create a brand new instance of this to deploy it as if uh, we were on a, a server that did not have this functionality deployed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just create a new directory and I'm just going to call this demo metadata. And now if we do another listing, we can see our directory is created. So there's two things that we're going to want to do. Uh, I'm not going to go through the mechanics of actually getting the metadata dictionary file over uh, you can figure that piece out but we can see if we switch to our metadata dictionary uh, directory that the file the sample app v406 uh, that is our metadata dictionary file is already here and I'm just gonna copy this to our new directory and use the recursive because this is and this will take just a second okay so now that's copied over to our new directory and you can see that the other thing that is present here is this web imp folder now I could just copy this from here but I want to show you where it's actually available. So what I'm going to do is actually switch to our new directory here. We can see that our sample app uh, file is co copied over there. And now we're actually going to copy the web inf directory from where it lives on the server. And I've got this path uh, saved off and these will of course all be relative to the server that you're working on so in this analytics res uh, I know that this web inf directory is sitting there and you'll find the same on your server And now I'm just going to copy that to uh, our current directory. And now if we do a listing again, we can see that that's copied over there. So that gives the WebLogic server everything it needs to actually do the deployment of this metadata dictionary. So now we are actually pretty much prepared. There's only one other thing we need to do, and that is change our instance config file. So I am going to switch over to the location of our instance config file. If we do a listing, we can see uh, you know various iterations of this. So I'm going to just open instance config with our uh, with Vim. Uh, before you make any changes to your instance config file, I would highly recommend making a copy that you can revert to in case something goes horribly wrong. But in this case, I know I have a copy, and I'm also pretty confident in what I'm doing. So now that I've got this open, I'm actually just going to search for a tag here. And if this tag doesn't exist, you'll want to put it in. And I'm just going to type in subject. And you'll see here that we have this subject area metadata. And it has this dictionary URL prefix and this subject area closing tag. So that's all you need to be uh, need in here to tell the server essentially where to look for this deployment. So you can see right here in the file that uh, we have this new metadata dict in here and I'm actually going to change this 
to the directory that we just created, which we called demo metadata. All right, and all I'm going to do, oops, I see a little typo there, that would cause a problem. And then I'm just going to save the file. And now we're actually ready to go out and deploy this metadata dictionary on the WebLogic server. So we'll switch over to WebLogic. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on Deployments. And we are going to click Lock and Edit. We are going to install a new deployment. And then we're actually going to uh, we're pretty close to where we need to get to already. We're just going to go ahead and add the path that we just created, which is that demo meta data. Click next. Uh, we're going to just uh, install this deployment as an application. We're going to select the BI server here. Go ahead and keep that name, make our lives easy, and click Finish. And this will take just a minute. Now that that is finished, we're going to go ahead and click the Activate Changes button. And now we're just going to scroll down and take a look here at what we have. Uh, we've got this demo made metadata application that is uh, sitting here, uh, prepared, ready to go. And then you can also see that we have got the uh, original that came with the sample app and then this uh, example I've done previously. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and stop that new metadata one. And this will just take a second. And then we're going to scroll down to our demo metadata application that we just deployed and we're going to tell WebLogic to t have it start servicing all requests. All right, now that we've done that, the only thing we have left to do is actually just as if we were uploading the repository, go ahead and bounce the BI server. So I'm in uh, Enterprise Manager here. I'm going to go ahead and say restart all. Okay, now that our BI server has restarted, we should be able to log back into the front end. And now if we take a look at creating a new analysis, we should be able to click on a logical folder here. And you can see that our metadata dictionary is still working. And most importantly, we can see that it is being deployed from the brand new deployment that we created. So that's how you set up the metadata dictionary.